guys, welcome back to the NCA Tutor. I'm Hera, and today we're going to be discussing the LLM option of completing the NCAs. So let's just dive right in. What does that actually mean? As discussed in a previous video, there are two processes that you have to complete as an internationally trained lawyer to be a certified lawyer in whatever provincial jurisdiction you want to work in in Canada. So there's the national process, which we'll refer to as the NCA process, and then there's the provincial process. The LLM is a different route, basically, to obtain your certificate of qualifications. Um, as discussed in a previous video, you can do the NCA exams. Uh, some people might be required to do some courses. And then there's the LLM option. So this LLM option does not mean that any LLM in Canada can qualify you to obtain your certificate of qualifications. No, there are two programs in Ontario that have the NCA Canada in mind and they're geared towards internationally trained lawyers. And those are Osgood's Professional LLM in Canadian Common Law and University of Toronto's Global Professional Canadian LLM. So both those programs are designed to be completed in one year if you're a full-time student over the course of three active terms. And you gotta keep in mind that you are capped at a certain number of courses that you can take in these exams. In these, sorry, in these programs, not exams. So in the LLM program, you're capped at a certain number of courses that you can take. U of T's program is also, um, I believe for certain electives, you have to get faculty approval to pursue them. And Osgoods and U of T's both have like the core subjects for the NCA that every NCA candidate would have to complete. So that's a good, a good way that they're designed with the NCA candidate in mind. With that being said, we strongly encourage that, you know, before you decide whether you want to do the LLM option or not, you should probably, you know, apply to the NCA first, get your assessment back, See what your assessment actually, you know, entails. Maybe you just have to take the five core courses, you know, and maybe you have to take 14 courses and the LLM options capped. So perhaps it's not the best decision for you. So these are kind of the things that you want to ask yourself before you make that decision, which is why we really encourage you to first get your assessment. And once you receive it, you can probably make a more informed decision. So in terms of costs, uh, the LLM option at Osgood is around $22,000 for domestic candidates and around $43,000 for international candidates. U of T's is around $35,000 for domestic candidates and $67,000 for international candidates. Uh, there is a non-refundable application fee like most of these things, like even if you apply to the NCA, you want to get your assessment back, there's also a non-refundable fee. The non-refundable fee for the LLM is $125 at U of T and $130 at Osgood. So you got to keep those kind of things in mind when it comes to budgeting. In comparison to the NCA exams in a previous video that we did, um, if you're doing five to seven exams, you're looking at around $3,800 to $7,000 and that's including exam fees as well as study materials. Um, so hopefully this helps you guys kind of determine, you know, what your budget looks like, what your, you know, what you want to get out of this NCA process as well, and making the best decision for you. Again, please keep in mind that, you know, even if you do the LLM and you've completed it, perhaps your individual assessment is catered towards completing numerous exams or numerous subjects that were not offered in the LLM and then even if you complete it you will still have to complete those other courses so that you can you know complete the NCA requirements based on your own individual assessment. Um, thank you so much for watching we hope that this was helpful there's links down below in regards to what the LLM options are for York and U of T and um, we really look forward to seeing you guys again and hopefully contributing to the continuing success of the Canadian international legal community. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.